Okay, Suzanne Galuzzo here, Best of You program, creator of Best of You program. Sorry, I should be a little bit more clear. And I own two Hourglass Workout Studios, so if you have a chance, come visit us anytime in Aurora and Markham. So, one thing I get asked a lot of, and one thing that's included in my all my programs is snacks. What do I do for a snack? And people fail to realize that a snack can be anything. It doesn't have to be snack food. It can be just a smaller meal of what you've had, just the same way as people you know, don't wanna have chicken or fish for breakfast, but you can. It's a meal, at the end of the day, it's a meal. We shouldn't just slot it in the different times of the day just because we think that's where it should be. That's what we've been taught. So uh, we like to provide our members with lots of snacks to choose from, and at least it gives them guidelines of you know, how to even come up with their own safe snacks that aren't going to throw them out of whack when it comes to getting to their goals. So let's talk about uh, a really simple one that, you know, it's a grab and go. A few greens and a can of tuna. And I mean, I have a can of tuna in my car most of the time and I'm eating it with a plastic fork because that's how simple and easy it is. And I mean, look, it's, it's got its own travel case and you can open it in the car, it's fantastic. But if you happen to be at the office, grab a few greens. I mean, I when I worked in an office, I would just, from the fridge, grab a whole green pepper and a tuna and figure it out at the office. There should be a knife there somewhere. Just cut it up and eat it, right? Um, snack number two is always, again, can be in your car. I mean, this is what you should be having after work on your way home before dinner so that you don't get home famished. This is also, I call this like my, my backup kit, um, is a can of tuna and a protein shake because at any moment you could be stranded somewhere, you could be at work late, you could be in a traffic jam. You should always have just some kind of backup that doesn't go bad easily and something that you can just, you know, as easy as adding water and a scoop of protein and you're good to go. Or keep it in the office, keep it at your desk. Third snack is actually your breakfast. I mean, some of my members like to save their savory pancake that we, you probably saw it in another video, how to make this pancake, but you can save your pancake for later on in the day and eat it as a snack or in between meals, anytime. Another one that's super sustainable is rice cakes. You can throw those in a cupboard somewhere at the office or in your purse and some nut butter. And I mean, the good old apple. I usually tell my members to have a green apple, but you know, if the red one's in the fridge, just take it and go. But these are one, two, three, four, five options. Option six, which a lot of my members have a lot of success with, is the egg white muffins. And I'm gonna quickly demonstrate how to do that. Literally seconds. We're gonna spray this with some coconut oil. Coconut oil, avocado oil, olive oil, whatever oil you want. You're going to stuff it, and personally, I like to use, um, I'm using fennel today because that's what's in my fridge. It's already cut up. My husband eats just about everything, so who cares? Anything goes. Uh, food is fuel, right? But I do like to use raw asparagus and because it cooks really well in the oven. And this is how easy your snack should be. Again, we want to pre prepare everything so that you're ready. There we go. And what we're gonna we're gonna throw some spices on there. So you want to throw something that I'm gonna grab this Italian. Um, you know, we try to encourage our members to cook without salt and just use your seasonings as your flavor. So you know, Clubhouse has a lot of really delicious, this is just Italian seasoning. Clubhouse has a lot of delicious salt-free seasonings that are super tasty. And I mean, a lot of people are coming out with salt-free. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick these in the oven for approximately 10 minutes. Depends on your oven and how hot it is. And that's it. You've got, you'll get six really nice looking egg white omelets, uh, mini egg white omelets. And those can be stored in the fridge 
put them in a ziplock in your purse. Remember, you know, you want to you want to be able to satiate your appetite and your cravings when they come, so that you're not left starving and you come home and eat everything. Okay, so that's it. Here's your snacks.